Hey guys, my name is Khaled and welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at the essential pack made for the Nintendo Switch by Orsley. First thing you'll see, designed in London, big up London, um, sorry about the cringe. What's included in the box? So we get the stylus pen, Type-C USB cable, earbuds, games holder, comfort case, couple of screen protectors and a carry case. So let's get into it. If you're interested in this case then i have left links in the description box below so do check it out for the latest prices now i'm going to be perfectly honest with you i'm a grown man so i can look after my stuff all right but one of the main reason i bought this essential pack is i have kids using my nintendo switch and they'll eat food not wash their hands they'll drop it you know how kids are so i thought let's slap a bit of protection on it you get your usual stuff in the box such as information about the company, what other products they offer. We also have the two times screen protector which is housed inside the box. But let's quickly look at the main star or attraction of the show which is the box and carry case itself. So let's quickly take it out of its plastic covering and then to be honest I'm pretty surprised with the finish and quality of this product. Feels extremely robust so if we drop it from like a meter it hopefully it won't damage your switch. It also has a nice carry handle. Also in the essential pack you get earphones so you can game at night or game discreetly. Also you get a USB-C to USB-A charging cable. You get a cartridge box to house a further four games so two on either side which is pretty dope. And you also get a stylus which has a ballpoint pen on one side and obviously you have the soft tip on the other where you can use it to touch the screen. Next up we have the comfort case so this is a case for your Nintendo Switch and the Joy-Con. Now just bear in mind when you do have it on you won't be able to charge it but it's pretty easy to take off which I'll demonstrate slightly later on. Okay so this case feels fantastic, it's made out of high grade plastic and it just feels extremely ergonomical. Alright so let's quickly go ahead with the procedure of installing the Nintendo Switch. So you start from the bottom from each corner and then you work your way around the top and that's it. It's pretty much put on and ready to use. In terms of the cutout so we'll quickly go through that now. You can easily access the Joy-Cons without any problem because that part is exposed. But let's quickly go ahead and see the top so you can see we have the cartridge open for the shoulder button as well and the trigger button and then easily accessible for games they come out and go back in as normal nothing to worry about you've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that is exposed as well so you can use the supplied headphones with this essential pack and you've got ventilation opening we've got cutout for the volume button and also the power on and off you have access to the kickstand as well and more cutout for air intake and ventilation so once you put the kickstand out and then lock it into position it stands up like it would on a normal switch so it doesn't hinder any of the functionality of the Nintendo. And at the bottom you can see we also have further cutout for the USB type C so you can charge it whilst on the go. And I must say once you have the comfort case on it certainly enhances your gameplay and you can play for prolonged hours because it has that natural bump and it fits around the palm of your hands very well. So as I previously mentioned, once you have the comfort case on, you cannot dock it on the docking station. But that's not the end of the world because it's pretty easy to take off. You start off from either corners at the top and then you pretty much just slide it out. It takes around 30 to 40 seconds at max. Okay, so you also get a screen protector. As I mentioned, you get two, so you can save one for later. As you're aware, pretty simple thing to do. You wipe the screen clean, you also take the dust off, and then you use a microfiber cloth to make sure everything is dust free. You make sure the screen protector lines up with the console itself so you can see the cutout as illustrated. You peel off the sticky side and you sort of align it from right to left. It takes a couple of practices but because I put on so many screen protectors I think I've gotten pretty good at it and as you can see the bubbles will slowly start to disappear. If you have any bubbles left like myself on the right hand side you just use the microfiber cloth and you pretty much just squeeze it out and it will be a pretty good finish like shown all right so once you're done finished with gaming why do you have a case all right you want to pack it up and keep it safe until you want to game the next time so everything fits in fantastic so even when it's in the comfort grip you still have enough space in the case to fit that inside you've got more storage for up to eight games and then you have the game cartridge which houses a further four games so altogether that's 16 
I'm joking guys, my maths ain't that bad. It's 15. And in the top portion, you've got space for the USB-C cable, space for earphones, and the stylus. We've missed that out, haven't we? Pretty good to use, really responsive, can't really say much else. All right, guys, if you made it this far into the video, then thank you very much for watching. I do have giveaways coming up, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you'd like the video, hit the like button. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section below. And most importantly, stay safe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.